Hello everybody, welcome to the Paper Dinosaur Project. My name is Jordy and this is Plants vs. Zombies. Last time we went through this, we went through the first stage, that was the daytime stage. Now we are on to stage two, which is a first nighttime stage. The, there are a few differences between daytime levels and nighttime levels. Uh, the main one being that sun does not fall from the sky at night, which means you have to re rely on all the sun you can get from plants. Uh, like sunflowers or these little sunshroom guys here, which only cost 25 sun to plant. They start off giving 15 sun, little small suns, and then uh, when they get bigger later on, they'll give out 25 suns. Uh, and you also have all, a lot of different mushrooms, actually, that you can plant. Mushroom plants don't work during the day. They only work at night, but they tend to be less expensive than the regular daytime plants, like this one. These little puffshroom guys, puffshrooms, they are uh, zero, they cost zero sun to plant. They recharge really quickly. Uh, they're not particularly powerful, and they're not particularly strong holding up against enemies. But they don't cost anything to plant, whereas the pea, shooter, pea shooters <laughs> cost 100 sun to plant. So we're jumping right in here. I already set up mustache mode. As you all know, that's very important. And I think I remember another one. We're going to find out right now. Hey, this is future mode. If you type future uh, during any level... Uh, they'll pop up with these cool funky sunglasses uh, and as you can see this sunshroom up here just grew it's a big boy now so proud of it ah oh, look at that other one my good boys so good so filming this episode right now uh, is actually a little bit different than the last episode of this that i filmed um because last episode i filmed it was spring break so there was no one else on the floor now, it's no longer spring break, everyone's back, and it's the middle of the day. So everyone, there's a good number of people home hearing me scream at my laptop about plants and seeds and zombies, which is uh, a lot, TM. Ooh, ooh, hey, stop that. Get out of here. Oh, that's another thing that uh, I don't know if I mentioned at all, but the if you see this row of lawnmowers back here, um, if a zombie gets to the back of your yard, the lawnmower will go out and plow down that whole row of zombies, however many are in that row. But that is single use only. So if a second zombie gets to the end of that row, then you're dead. Goodbye. Another difference uh, between normal level and uh, normal daytime levels and the nighttime levels is these see this little little cluster of spook, spoopy scary skelly graves back here back here at the back here oh no they're so spooky oh no uh those actually uh have zombies hiding under them that'll pop up at the final wave real scurry music it's picking up here it's picking up oh listen look at it go look at it go did you just die for the second time? So, uh, these big boys down here are called fume shrooms. Oh, look at them go. Look, it goes. Doing lots of quick damage. Fairly short range, but, uh, nice and sturdy, TM. Oh, we got the goth plant. Incredible, wonderful, fabulous. I love it. Let's go. Hey, wanna an extra seed spot. It'll cost you seven fifty, but you'll be able to choose seven seeds per level instead of six. How's that sound? Uh, yes, please. I would like. Some. All right. And hey, when you save up to five thousand, I'll sell you the eight sleep seed slot upgrade. <laughs> Who put Crazy Dave in charge? He wears a pot as a hat. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, 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 no. All these plants are so selfless. Constantly putting their lives on the line. Being eaten by ruthless zombies. Get out, get, come on, get out here. Stop that. Being eaten by ruthless zombies to protect us. So good. So pure. Do it, little puff shroom. I believe in you. You can do it. Please do it. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna give him a little help this time. It's so weird, like, having them coming down uh, the rows and not being fired at immediately upon stepping onto the lawn. Because most of the daytime plants are fairly long range, whereas like all of the uh, nighttime mushroom plants are much shorter range. Oh god! Oh no! Oh no, I don't like that! No. Please stop. Oh fuck. Um, okay, hold on. We're gonna- ooh! There we go. Hypnoshroom. He's on our side now. We got the jock, it's fine. Just, uh, stop right there for me real quick. Thanks. It's okay, take your time. I can wait. Thank you. Jesus, that is a lot of graves. Okay. This is fine. We're fine. We can work with this, probably. So this is actually really weird because I was just talking about how all the mushrooms are short range. Um, but then I unlocked these guys. These are the scaredy shrooms. Um, and they are a long range uh, mushroom plants. So they'll shoot really far like a normal pea shooter would. Um, but anytime a zombie gets close to it, it gets real scared. Uh, and hides under its little hat here, just sort of boop. So it's pretty much the opposite of every other mushroom, which only works from close up. This one only works from far away. Not that we're here to judge. So the way the levels are laid out, the zombies slowly trickle in at the beginning and then uh, come in more numbers, come with stronger zombies later on. So the way I like to think of it in my head is that cluster of zombies across the street. Uh, they're looking over at the this sweet, sweet yard they want to get all up in. Uh, but they're afraid. Um, so they got to work up their courage and, uh, you know, a couple brave zombie souls they cross the street before the others, you know, sort of lead the way. Oh shit, this is over already? Hello? If you notice in these intro scenes, there's a graveyard over here, which is presumably where the zombies are coming from. But there's also glowing uh, drain pipes and sewers, which gives me some questions about what's down there and where these zombies are supposedly coming from. Is it the sewer or the graveyard? I'd like some answers! There are so many graves in my backyard. I've got some questions and concerns as to why. Like, you know, not, not to like pry or anything, not to judge or whatever, but like, why? This is my backyard! There's a graveyard across the street! It's not even like they're in lines or anything. They're just scattered around haphazardly. What the fuck? Did I put the graves there? Did someone come to my yard and dig a series of graves randomly throughout my backyard? Or no, wait, this isn't the backyard. This is the front yard. Why are there graves in my front yard? I'm pretty sure that lowers the street appeal of the house to have a series of miscellaneous gravestones randomly strewn about your front yard. But only at night, though. They go away during the day, so just don't give any house tours at night and you'll be golden. You can sell the house. But also, maybe don't mention the part about the constant zombie onslaught. Or the glowing sewers on the curb. I just noticed that this gravestone just says expire on it. Hello. We would like to visit for a midnight snack. How does ice cream and brain sound? Sincerely, the zombies. Oh Jesus, that is a lot of graves. Like, as fucked up as it is to think about, like, some guy planting graves in their own yard, 
it's weirder to think that someone else came and planted graves in some person's yard. I'd like some more grave eaters, please. And thank. Doom. Very punk rock. Are you gonna give me any grave eaters so I have room to plant these plants? Or are you just gonna keep giving me the, the ones that like blow up or whatever? Okay, so that is it for this video. I'm gonna cut this video here. Uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date on all the weird shit I'm doing. And if you like this video, be sure to show that like button some love, and I will see y'all later. Bye!